Hey everyone, Ken, back from the Pinners Conference, and I'm so excited about our new spring release. We're going to do a project using this honeycomb frame, which has a 5x7 opening, and it has a black or white chalk surface. Now, I wanted to do a spring project, so I'm going to grab our guava paste. And did you know you could paint our surfaces with our chalkology paste? Yes, you can. Now, some people go directly onto the surface like I'm doing. Some water it down. They use the color tree. Just put a even nice coat, let it dry, and now we get to grab our brand new gold gilding wax. Now, this is a partnership with Dixie Bell, and this stuff is so versatile. And a little goes a long way. I'm grabbing our artistry tool set and the paintbrush in there, and I'm just hitting this gilding wax on the outside and I guess inside of the frame. Now, I like to add a little bit all the way around, let it dry, add a second layer, and then as I was doing the project, I said to myself, I really want this gold to pop. So I just put a nice coat on and use my finger to varnish it into the frame and look at how the gold now pops along that guava. Absolutely love it. Now I'm using the black side of the frame and the hopping by a size transfer. I'm going to fuzz this, put this on my surface. You'll notice that I'm using a squeegee because I'm not doing it centered. I want those ears to poke up a little bit. I'm using our bright white chalkology paste and putting just a single coating and grabbing the detail tool to peel it off. Now we are actually going to paint the inside of these bunny ears by watering down our bright white chalkology paste, grabbing a paintbrush from the Artistry paintbrush set, and we're just going to put not one, not two, but yes, three layers of painting inside. Now, if you want to go for more of a watercolor look, just do one layer, or if you like are like me and you want it a little bit more solid, go ahead and put two, three, four layers. It's your project it how you want. Now, as soon as this is done, you want to make sure this is completely dry. Dry, dry, dry before you put this transfer back on because it will lift up if it's not dry. But once we know it's dry, let's put that transfer back on. I'm going to use our black velvet chalkology paste to get the outside of those ears. Now, I know this is going on a black board, but it will lay over the white and it's going to give us that really cool cartoon look I'm going for of a hand-drawn item. Let's grab our guava paste that we're using with our multi tool, get inside there. We're going to finish this off with our nominee metallic gold paste it is gorgeous and matches that frame perfectly and just like that we have a beautiful cute spring project perfect for gift for your home and thanks for hopping by and watching this video what do you think are you excited to use the new gilding wax go snag it now while it's still available thanks for watching everyone bye